amazing. Good morning. Good morning, sir. What brings you here? Where are you from? I'm from Monroe College. Um, my name is Walter Eddy. I'm the executive director of the Office of Career Advancement. And one of the primary reasons uh, that we're here is to allow our students to talk about the TAP program and how important it is with respect to their ability to get their education. Having said that, I think it's important for them to have an opportunity to speak. Say your name. Hi, I'm Sonda Azar from Monroe College, Haitian background, and I study criminal justice. And uh, I don't want to take a guess. Mm -hmm. Are you Native American here, or your family comes from where? From Haiti. 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 Okay, yeah. so I, I needed to hear that. <laughs> And so, what brings you here? I just want to say that I, we appreciate receiving TAP because TAP helped us a lot and my family due to the fact that my mother is the only one working and my, my older brother is in college and I am as well and it was hard for her to really help us with it and you know, they always say, you know, you need an education to become something, go to school, but you know, it's not free. So. TAP helped us a lot, and I, I do have a lot of loans to pay back, but I mean, every dollar counts, and I appreciate that. God bless your mother. Thank <laughs> you. I would not be here if it wasn't because of my mother. Me neither. Okay. A single parent. Mm -hmm. okay. yes. Hello, my name is Jacques Bernard, and I'm originally from Haiti, um, and I go to Monroe College. My major is accounting, and I'm, I'm a sophomore. Um, I'm currently attorney at uh, Goldman Sachs, and I'm, I'm here basically because I want to talk about TAP and how it's been helping me. It, it has helped me in, in the, uh, for the past couple of years when I started uh, college, because I really didn't know how I was going to pay for, for, um, for my tuition, and really my counselor has been helping me and telling me, guiding me through the steps that I needed to, to apply for TAP, and that's really been very helpful, and not just me, but to my family and all my peers as well, and it's been very helpful. And I appreciate that very much. So how do you think we can help you at this office? First of uh, all, I'm going to ask one of these young ladies to sit there, because they're going to have to try to help solve your problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, they're the future. Um, one way you guys can actually help me is that, like, um, last semester, we couldn't. Uh, I have two friends, two of my close friends from school. Like, they almost didn't want to come to school anymore. They wanted to come to school but they didn't know how to pay for it. And TAP wasn't helping them as much. So they, had, they already have a lot of loans. They didn't want to take more. So that's one of the big issues that we're facing because a lot of kids want to drop out of school because simply they can't pay, they don't have enough money to pay for their tuition. Yes. I just wanted to add that. What's your concern? If we consider um, um, TAP, uh, as a program that we can use to invest in the futures of our students, well, the return on investment is absolutely phenomenal. When you look at young people like these, who without TAP would not be able to attend college, uh, but with TAP they're able to attend and ultimately become productive members of our society who will ultimately be in positions to give back. Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful investment. That is a wonderful investment. They are not, and they should never be, and it, it disheartens, it's, it really breaks my heart when I hear other, you know, uh, politicians talk about uh, that uh, people who receive tap, tap or, or financial aid are simply takers. They're not takers. They're receivers so that they can be ultimately placed in a position so they can give back to our society. And this is a primary example. Without it, where would they be? Without it, what would their future look like? We know what it currently looks like. We're very optimistic in terms of where they will end up. Where, do you, where is your internship now? At Goldman, Sachs. At Goldman Sachs. At Goldman Sachs. He will ultimately be in a position to be able to provide for his family mm -hmm. and others. And that's what this society is about. It's about opportunity. The TAP program is certainly, it, it certainly over the years has provided that. And one of the things that we're looking for is some, some equity. 
because there's a disparity between the tap that's received at the two-year college versus you know, the four-year college. Mm -hmm. There's, I believe, a thousand dollar difference. We'd love yeah. to be able to see some equity there. Right. We'd love to be able to see, you know, an increase that at least takes into consideration the fact that there's a lot of talk about students accumulating, you know, debt and coming out with huge amounts of debt such that, you know, it, it becomes uh, a, a, an unwilling, unwitting burden. And, and so one of the things that TAPS helps to do is to reduce the amount of loans that they have to take um, so that when they come out, um, they're not worried about meeting uh, uh, the, the loan payments in, in a way that really stresses them out mm -hmm. and doesn't allow them to focus on their studies. That's the other piece that I think you too mentioned, and that is that TAP allows you to focus on your studies so that you can receive the A grades, so that you can enjoy going to college. If you're stressed out about where the money's coming from so that you can pay for college, that makes it that much more difficult to focus on, on getting good grades and enjoying the process of education. And so that's our appeal to you, sir, and, 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 and our hope is that you can voice our concerns to your colleagues uh, such that they hear it. And, and we appreciate the fact that in, in this uh, budget session, uh, TAP was not cut. Uh, we appreciate that, and we hopefully will move forward into your next sessions uh, recognizing how important it is and the possibility of adding to that uh, wonderful fund. Well, I, I want to thank you for your visit. Thank you so this much. young lady, like I said earlier, she, gradu she graduated from uh, college up here, I gather. Yes, and I was a recipient of staff also. Uh, yes, and, really and she found herself looking for, like, a job with opportunity. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? Come to my office. Yes. And 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 then go through the experience as she is going through right now. That's right. Uh, and I graduated uh, with I honors and because of that program I was able to focus as you said and enjoy college as you said and um and I graduated with I honors. Nice. Having a family and having um, just coming to the country and trying to, to, to situate her and mm -hmm. all of that. The last thing I wanted is the burden of student loan mm -hmm. and all of that. So when I was introduced to all these grant programs mm -hmm. and, and, and TAP and all of that, I'm like, wow, they really do this? This is really a land of opportunity. Right. You understand? So I must say that whatever you you guys are saying is actually true because I was a recipient of that and I made um I made that um you know opportunity make it to be and take it to the best. You That's understand? Wonderful. And with that now it give me that shine That's in right. my in my in my college program and in my college year wonderful. and here I am now. Wonderful. You understand? As a representative of the assembly. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And this young lady, as I said, look at that. She's getting ideas already. She's right. already sitting in my chair. <laughs> right. All right? You planted the seeds. She's right? still a student. Right. Yeah. And uh, they really, the, the, my operation in this office. Wonderful. Wonderful. And I... Uh, but that, too, again, speaks to your belief in the people. Right fact that you have them here working with you, mm -hmm. representing your office and representing the people speaks volumes about who you are. We definitely appreciate the time that you've taken from your day uh, to sit with us and listen to us. Well, I thank you. And I one of those I say to them that uh, many we will be getting many visits here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I believe it's the case that from all these experiences, they will continue to do good work yes. and never forget where they came from. Mm -hmm. That's, see, that's okay. the statement. Never forget yeah, where you come from. Right. That's the important okay. thing. So, so, talk to us about a little bit about yourself. In terms of TAP, well, I go to SUNY Albany. I'm a graduating senior now in 2013, and this is, like I said, my last semester. and. I could attest to the fact that if it wasn't for TAP, I wouldn't be in college. That was one of the first things that my parents told me. Um, you either 
find scholarships and money to go or you go somewhere in CUNY or somewhere where it's cheap so that you can work and pay for it because they don't they don't have the ability to pay for stuff like that. Um, and just to attest to that, I strongly believe that if if not for the opportunity to go to college and not have to worry so much on the economics and how to pay for college, then I wouldn't be able to be graduating now as well as Tamara just said with high honors That's right. and get the opportunity to be here in the first place. So. I am another contestant to the fact that TAP is a great program. Wonderful.